Good afternoon and welcome back to another YouTube video. I feel like it's been a while, but I'm back. So we've got a lot of catching up to do. And I wanted to yeah, just get back to my YouTube because I absolutely loved vlogging last year, last season. And I want to get back to it again as I move into this season. Um, the start of this year has just been so, so hectic. <laughs> I feel like I've not had a minute to breathe, but I'm ill at the moment. So I'm kind of, I'm not training at the moment. I'm not able to train at the moment and I'm feeling sorry for myself. And I thought I would just like come and chat on here and talk you through um, my plans for this um, season. I thought I'd do like one of the, like what YouTubers do and do to get ready with me, but except my get ready with me is putting some moisturizer on my face and putting some uh, tin moisturizer on as well. Um, and that's the extent of getting ready. That's getting ready with me as a triathlete. You know, we don't have time to be putting makeup and stuff on, but that's my skincare. <laughs> Keels. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some of this um, Obagi Sun Shield SPF on. And then I'm gonna talk to you about what, what's been going on and what's coming up for this year. I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, follow along for the journey. Um, if you're new around here, then go and catch up on last year's videos where I did my first Ironman. I did a couple of 70.3s and just took you along for the, for the ride. And I loved it and I'm going to get back to it. So here we go. Here we go. <coughs> I'll try and um, edit out all the coughs that I do. Um, I basically, I was away in Porto this weekend, this past weekend, which was amazing for anyone who hasn't been to Porto. I recommend it, but it was like a hen do, and we've come back, and quite a few of us are quite ill. Um, oh, I look so bad. I look so awful. Um, quite a lot of us are ill, so um, I'm just doing this to make myself feel better, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't normally put my quad in the house, but it just lifts your mood, doesn't it? I went out for a walk this morning. And that's lifted my mood a bit. Um, but anyway, so yes, I was in Porto this past weekend. And then, um, well, let's go back to the start of the year. So I moved in with my boyfriend, who some of you will have seen on the channel. So I am living with him now, which is really exciting. But obviously moving house and changing routine, it, like it, it's challenging. I find it quite challenging to completely lift and move my whole life and change a routine now I can settle into a routine quite quickly like whenever we go away on holiday and you know we all do our training and all of that sort of stuff we settle into a routine really nicely and there's no issue but I've just found like you know moving things over and then finding a new pool to swim in and I don't know new run routes bike routes getting the bike over here just like lots of just stuff to do um, and so I moved in uh, the very end of December and then we went to Lanzarote the first week of January for two weeks which was amazing and I did vlog it but I've not actually put the video up yet so maybe I'll put that up after this video. Loads of cycling which was amazing. I've never been to Lanzarote before so I really enjoyed cycling out there and um, I mean I enjoyed it maybe that was the wrong the wrong word to use because it was really hard cycling out there in the wind but it was character building is what it was. Um, cycling out in Lanzarote was character building so I went to Lanzarote um, had a really great block of training at whilst we were out there which I keep having to remind myself of because I keep thinking I'm super unfit and I've lost all my fitness and all of this when in reality you know I've been ill for uh, not even a week <laughs> not even a week Laura and then when we got back we did high rocks which um well just google it if you don't know what high rocks is but it's completely different to triathlon but obviously like the fitness that i have from doing a triathlon and my endurance sport helped massively so i did that with my partner gaz and we managed an hour and a minute which we were so happy with and we qualified for the world champs so that's in june and we're going to do that something a bit different like obviously i'm all in on my triathlon I've got some big goals this year however it's just nice to be able to do something with my partner and also just something a little bit different like it really pushes those like <laughs> max efforts and it really makes you question your life choices because oh it's just so hard that was the week after we got back from Lanzarote and then I was at home for a week which was nice and then I went to obviously went to Porto and then it was my birthday um and oh uh, yeah that was it <laughs> it was my birthday went down to nottingham with some friends and did a bit of like a boozy brunch and then like a week later obviously went for a hindu with a, another group of friends and that was a bit boozy as well uh, i'm gonna say boozy like for me it 
that like it's boozy for, for normal people like it's probably like yeah that's just what I have on like a normal day but um I don't drink very much I don't like how it makes me feel and um so yeah I, I really think that's why I've picked this up because my immune system is low my body's just not used to drinking so um I think that's why I'm ill at the moment but anyway it's all good so yeah as I said it's just been really hectic and I stopped with my, with my coach for a bit I just wanted a bit of time to just do my own thing and um, so I've not really been following any structure I did all the way up until maybe like Christmas and then sort of over the Christmas period which we were over Christmas as well it's yeah I just wanted a bit to just do my own thing for a little bit I've since realized that you can't do this without a coach you absolutely cannot prep for half Ironman full Ironman without coach like and I, I do this for a living like I, I program my athletes daily like with with their Ironmans, half Ironmans, half marathons, 5k's, whatever, I program everything and you need that structure, you need that plan, you need that accountability because it's just so hard without. So I'm going to start that back up again and just get my head down obviously once I have got over this illness. So um, next weekend, I said things have calmed down, they are calming down after next weekend, so after next weekend we're going to Madrid over the weekend, it's literally just like a two day trip, we're going to go do High Rocks in Madrid, um, my partner and some of his friends were all doing it originally, but we've managed to book on the mixed doubles because we thought we may as well have one more go at it before we do World Champs in June, so we managed to get a ticket for that and we're going to go, we'd already booked the holiday and everything, but I'm actually going to compete with him, so Gaz and I are going to do High Rocks mixed doubles on the Saturday, um, the second of March I think and then we're back and I'm back for like a solid I want to say six weeks which I can just get my head down get into a routine I finally things like I've joined I've joined a local swimming pool I have found a new gym I've got my bike all set up downstairs I know some more run routes like all of these things are so important when it comes to training that like you have to create an environment in which you're going to set yourself up for success and I can be I can like a test for that because like I haven't had that routine or that structure or all of those things in place more recently and when I say my training's dropped off like I'm speaking I'm relatively speaking like I've still been getting at least a session in each day um you know I'm still running decent distances I'm still pushing decent numbers I mean illness aside still, still pushing decent numbers on the bike so it's not like I've stopped training or anything like that but you know when we're comparing to the structure and the routine that you have to have when you are training for an Ironman like it's been night and day but it's also important to have that time away from routine and it's made me realize that I'm really ready to get back to it so um, after Madrid starting up with the coach getting sorted getting started and I'm so excited so plans moving forward we have got high rocks mixed doubles on the 2nd of March and then we come back and I've got about 20 days and I've, I've decided randomly when I was out in uh, Lanzarote decided to enter an ultra marathon now I really need to bring my running up this year before I um did triathlon I sort of came from I say a running background like I wasn't a runner as a kid or anything but when I first got into sort of more endurance sports I started off by doing a half marathon uh, and then I was doing some five and ten k's so running I guess as for everyone you know is the most accessible out of out of the three um, and usually people have experience in the running over the bike and the, and the swim anyway when I did my Ironman Man, last year uh, I really dropped off in the run like my, my pace just absolutely dropped off a cliff and you know I've never run anything longer than well in training we did 30k two 30ks and that was it um, so I've never run anything longer the first time I'd ever run a marathon was off the back of the bike when I did my um, when I did my Ironman so I've never done any longer distances and more so just learning how it feels mentally obviously physically as well is important but just understanding how running for that length of time feels so I really want to bring up my running this year I'm not going to go and enter loads of marathons that's not going to be beneficial because I'm just going to be exhausted all the time but I just thought something completely different um, I want to try an ultra so 50k now in my head I'd planned I'd be doing 30k this week and 25k last week 30k this weekend and then I was going to push it up to like 35k probably the following weekend then so I'd start to taper down but that plan isn't there anymore because I'm not well so um I'll figure it out I'll figure it out like I ran 25k last weekend I can I'll get round the distance um, and this is just about getting round and just seeing what it feels like so that is next on the calendar it's the 24th of March then go to a training camp at the end of April so that's the 21st of April I'm going out to Mallorca I'm on camp for a week 
and then I'm staying out in Mallorca until the 12th of May, which is when I'm going to be doing my half Ironman, first half my Ironman of the year, which is Mallorca 70.3. Um, so what I'm going to do, like, luckily, we, my parents have a place out in Mallorca, so I'm going on camp for the 21st to 28th, and then I'm going to stay at their place for sort of like 10 days, um, and then go over to Alcudia for, obviously, for the race. My boyfriend is also doing that with me, so he's going to fly out, and we're going to do that, which is really exciting. So that is the first race of the season and that's not like an a race that's just uh i wanted to do new york anyway and i would have been out in new york so it just is a, a, a nice thing to do um and then moving forward into june we've obviously got high rocks world champs which um is exciting <laughs> we weren't planning like when we did high rocks I, I think we came 10th in our age group and i think the top eight qualify for world champs um and then so we were like, oh, that's fine. Like, we weren't even expecting to, you know, I've never done high rocks before. It's not my thing. So I was just wanting to get around, have a good time. And basically, I think someone in, a couple of people in the top eight either didn't want to take their space or maybe they'd already qualified. But anyway, it got rolled down to us. So I thought, why not? Um, you know, it's only, we're only just outside of it. So we're, I guess, competitive within within that sort of top 10. So we were, yeah, we thought, why not go and do it? Something nice to do together. So that is at the beginning of June, I think around the third. And at the end of June, I've actually qualified for the European Middle Distance Championships which are out in Portugal so in Coimbra in Portugal qualified for the age group team which I'm really happy about so end of last season the idea I did challenge Maguire and with that race result because I came I think you have to qualify I think you have to sorry you have to come in within like five percent of the winner ten percent of the winner I don't know I don't know the numbers anyway my time for that with with my placing and everything qualified me for um middle distance uh, European champs so that's at the end of June I've not yet paid my place and confirmed but I think uh, and I need to like speak to my coach about this but I think that that is going to go ahead yeah I just need to figure all of that out basically what I was going to do was Ironman 70.3 Bolton and uh, when I qualified I was like Bolton versus the age group champs now obviously it would have been cool to do in Bolton home country and like we don't live too far from Bolton it'd be ideal but I thought like Am I going to qualify for age group GB all the time? Is this going to be a one-off? I don't know. So I thought, like, I think that would be a cool thing to do. So that is a maybe. There's a question mark there. But I'm thinking we do. Um, it's not too expensive. Obviously, you've got to think of expenses as well. As anyone knows who does triathlon, triathlon is an expensive sport. With the, the travel, the bike, I also want to buy myself a time trial bike this, this year. So that's going to be a huge expense. So I just need to find more sponsors <laughs> or um yeah just figure just figure things out basically and then come back and then we are doing Ironman Copenhagen again so Ironman Copenhagen which is in August that was going to be my only Ironman of the year but then my longer term goal is qualifying for Kona 2025 which like it's difficult when you're looking at world champs like that is a, like a, a goal for, for next year I really want to qualify for Kona 2025 um, but also at the same time like you can't part of that is out of your control obviously like you have to you have to do a respectable time you've got to do well in the race but you cannot you can't control who's going to show up on the day so you could have your best ever race you could like come in sub 10 and you could have 10 girls that were way faster than you so it kind of that is kind of out of your control obviously they don't do it based off of times like for example with when I did Copenhagen last year I mean I did 10 hours 35 but even that that time didn't qualify me for world champs but then there were other races where people were getting obviously in my age group were maybe getting around the 12 hours which is an incredible time don't get me wrong but we're getting sort of slower times but still qualifying for world champs so it kind of depends on how many spaces are available at that race it depends on who shows up on race day all of those things come into account so I'm trying not to get too like stressed that is the goal but also my main goal is to just like well for Copenhagen is to beat what I did last year so 10 hours 35 if we can get as close to 10 hours as possible it is the goal sub 10 would be like gold standard dream standard we've done all the workings out and like it would have obviously that's taking considerable time 35 minutes is <laughs> is a lot so it's a lot of time to be taken off you know my swim's not going to really get any faster I have to find maybe like 20 minutes on the bike and 15 minutes on the run which it's doable but anyway anyway no that was really bad maths no was it 
yeah, 20 plus 15, 35, yeah, anyway, anyway, so um, I'm trying not to get too in my head of that about that, like, I will just trust the process, I will train hard and give it my absolute all, so I'm on Copenhagen, the goal is to beat what I did last year, that won't qualify me for Kona 2025 because it's still within the um 2024 season so that'll qualify for nice and i don't want to do nice so um i've then entered portugal ironman portugal which is in october october the 19th i want to say which is like an early season race which is the qualifier for coda 2025 my brain isn't working at the moment <laughs> i can't speak properly <clears throat> um so yeah, Portugal, my boyfriend is also gonna do that one. So I'm excited to be doing the um, to be doing Portugal at home on with him. That'll be really exciting. So that's in October. So those are my main races for this year. I guess my A race is Portugal Ironman. Um, like my B race is probably Copenhagen. And then my C race is gonna mm, be, and actually my, the middle distance world champs, I want to do well in that, but it's not like my main, main goal. So it's like a B race. Um, and then like my C race, just like warm up start of the, of the season is gonna be Mallorca. So those are the races for this year. Have I missed anything? We'll probably do another High Rocks at the end of the year, like a, a November High Rocks probably, because that's just fun to do. Um, I'll have a lot of fitness by then. I probably won't have much speed, but I'll have a lot of fitness. So that, that carries you through. It's, you know, with High Rocks, it's very much an endurance event as well. You have to be good at running. So I'll have a lot of fitness there. Um, so yeah, fitting all of these races in amongst a very busy life with a lot of incredible athletes that I'm also coaching who are doing some incredible races as well. I've got some of them doing the same races as me, um, quite a few of them doing New York 70.3, quite a few of them doing Ironman Copenhagen, so, and then there's plenty of races in between as well, so um, obviously they are my key focus as well. Um, you know, it's not all just about me, I want to ensure that they have the best possible chances of doing their absolute best at these races, so that means like so much to me that they do well and um, I get so much fulfillment and, and joy out of helping them achieve incredible things so that is also you know with all my races that is another key focus so I just need to make sure um that and I think as well that's where like at the beginning of this year business was just so busy which I'm not obviously not complaining about but business was so busy with a house move with everything just here there and everywhere I mean I was driving back to my parents which is 45 minutes away just to go for a swim like it was just I was here there and everywhere living out of a bag so it's just taken a bit of time to just relax and get into the swing of things and now I can start training again which I'm so well no after I've got over this illness which is probably I mean I stupidly sat on the bike yesterday and just spun my legs then my recovery on my watch today said like that I had a strenuous and stressful day yesterday bearing in mind I sat down all day I didn't do anything apart from that bike ride so my body clearly wasn't up for that and then I woke up this morning feeling so much worse so lesson learned <laughs> I need to practice what I preach and not um and not be training when I um am ill so yes that is me come along for the ride I will bring you along and vlog this season again because I, as I said I absolutely loved doing it last year it was so much fun and I got to connect with so many amazing people on here whether they were doing their first triathlon their first Ironman whatever like it was really cool to like get in touch with so many people so that's what it's all about and um I think <laughs> you know what I think with like anything you do with like with my work a lot of it's in social media like with this like you, it's so easy to get in your head like I've got a full-on Lanzarote vlog like a 25 minute Lanzarote vlog and I'm like oh, it's boring no one wants to watch that and I'm just getting in my head and like I started this YouTube channel because it was literally just like a bit of a passion project I just wanted to I said it from the start I want to be able to look back at the videos and see like the memories that I made with my family with um my friends like all of those things just like the journey I went on I can look back in I don't know five years time and be like oh I remember that trip and like I don't know capturing the moment when I finished my Ironman and like hugging my dad and I was crying like all of these really special moments that I wanted to capture and ultimately that's what this is about and I'm here getting in my head being like oh no one wants to see my head for breakfast but people do because I'm interested in what people have for breakfast so anyway maybe I'll just upload it and stop being a dickhead so anyway I'll stop rambling now thank you so much for watching if you have stuck around for this long and I will catch you in the next one when I'll give you maybe a bit of a maybe like we'll do high rocks first we'll get high rocks done i'll get set up with my training and my new schedule and everything and then i will run you through what a typical week is going to look like training for my first 70.3 of the year so anyway have a wonderful day
Thank you for watching. Goodbye.